Welcome to Electron Online, and here we're going to take a look at what we call the colligative properties of solutions. Colligative is a strange word, so what colligative really means means collective. And that may not really reveal really what that is, but what they're referring to is solutions have properties that are different from the original solvent. In other words, you have a solvent, a solvent will have certain properties such as the boiling point or the freezing point, things like that. And then if we add a solute to that, so you make now a solvent, now the properties will be different. The major properties that we're going to look at, the four, are one, the vapor pressure lowering of solvents. For example, a solvent by itself will have a certain vapor pressure, and then we add a solute to it, so now we have a mixture, a solution as we call it, an aqueous solution. The vapor pressure can actually decrease because of that, because the effect that the solute has on the solvent. Secondly, we can have what we call boiling point elevation. A solvent would boil at a certain temperature, but now we put a solute in and make a solution out of it, and the solution will actually boil at a higher temperature. Of course, I need to put a little flame over here too. Notice that we're heating it up and boiling it, and so you can see that the temperature will now be higher because of the introduction of a solute that then dissolves in the solution, in the, so in the solvent, creating a solution, and now the boiling point has gone up. Thirdly, we can have freezing point depression. One really good example of freezing point depression might be the antifreeze that we put in the radiator of our car. If you drive a car somewhere where the temperature is below freezing and all you have in your car is water, that can be very bad for your engine because your engine has compartments in it that are filled with water and as the water freezes, water will expand and can actually crack the engine block. So what we want to do is add some, some solute to that, like an antifreeze, that will actually lower the the freezing point. So for example, here we have uh, the solvent that will freeze at a certain temperature, but we put a solute in there, so now we have a solution, and it will freeze at a much lower temperature, which is what we're trying to do with the case of radiators and cars. And finally, we look at the osmotic pressure. Well, osmosis is a process where a liquid or an aqueous solution will go from one to compartment to another across what we call a semi-permeable membrane, a membrane that will only allow molecules to go in one direction and not in the other direction. Now, sometimes solvents don't have any osmotic, character, osmotic characteristics. There's no one being osmosis, and so there will not be any transfer, and the pressure on both sides will be the same as indicated here. But when you add a, sol a solute so that you now have a solution that has certain characteristics that some of the atoms or molecules will actually travel across the semipermeable membrane, then what you'll end up is with more solution here than on this side, and there'll be a higher pressure here. You can see the pressure difference simply that more and more force will push molecules in this direction, increasing the pressure over here, and you can see the pressure increase by a higher uh, state here in the liquid up here. So you can see the pressure difference will then be determined by the density times the acceleration of the gravity times the height of that, that uh, column of solution. So those are the four major properties. There's a few other ones that we will look at, but over the next so many videos, we're going to take a look at each one of these properties and show you some examples of how those properties can be used to calculate certain things. So there's an introduction to what we call colligative properties.